And you mentioned something I want to dig into a little bit more is you said that getting salespeople to track activity is sometimes hard. Obviously, in your role over the last 15 years, you've had to try to influence salespeople to do certain things. Do you have any tips around doing that effectively? Yeah, so there's two, two things that I found effective. So, you know, one is a little more carrot, one's a little more stick. The carrot is that I am a firm believer, especially as having been a sales leader, that, you know, never ask something from a salesperson without giving them something in return, right? So if I'm asking you for more visibility, then, so this was a perfect example, right? We wanted more visibility and we wanted them to be tracking their activities in Salesforce rather than in uh, their own personal G-Docs or whatever they were doing. So we gave them a tool that made it easier for them to do it. Um, If I, you know, so, or I will... Uh, we'll we'll add on a, a new tool that's uh, that maybe it's a third party that we've purchased, but give them something back, right? So if I want accountability, I should give I make sure that you can track your commission. Like I want that to be rewarding for you, but I want you to know how much how much more you can make um, by making the sale. Like I I always tell salespeople that I want you to buy a boat. Right, like if you hit it out of the park, I want you to buy a boat with your commission check. Uh, the more stick approach and something that I continually do, which is sneak things in, right? Like I will gradually make more things required um, in Salesforce, especially like for opportunities and even like building accounts. Um, start off with the basics, right? Just make it as simple as possible so that it's you know like five things that you really need. But once people are used to giving you those five things, sneak a few more in. They don't even notice. (laughs) You know, it's amazing. 